Hi, this is uh, Bill Monaghan, and I'm standing at the uh, southwest edge of my first settlement rehab project, which is to remake Somerville Place. Um, turn on build mode, you can see faintly against the green curtain. I've pretty much walled in the entire area, plus I have built this uh, concrete bunker with a uh, windmill on top attached to a single missile turret that doesn't do much good in defense of the settlement. And so I thought about, my friend Sarah concurs, that the thing to do is just scrap all of it and start over. I'd also mentioned in passing I was thinking about doing some sort of uh, Nuka World based theme out here and I think the theme she had suggested that I do a western theme because of the open spaces here, and I like that idea. I've got a lot of neat uh, cowboy outfits I took off of animatronic models at Nuka World and, yes, yeah, it. And, um, and it kind of fits in with the character of the place. It's big and open. Uh, maybe a barn would look nice here. But uh, I'm going to start out by ripping out everything. This will take a while. Um, and I'll probably just fast forward through all this and then we'll take a break and look at what we got left. I might be smart. If I knew what I was going to save and want to use later, I would be storing items instead of scrapping them because I'm sure you're aware you lose a lot of material when you scrap items. So, but I don't know what I'm going to want to use, and I do have a lot of material. I'm kind of a habitual scavenger. I even pick up stuff I don't need. I don't know. I'm terrible about it, so I should have plenty of material. Except maybe aluminum. I'll probably run out of aluminum at some point that when I come to it. But yeah, I'll probably fast forward through a lot of this, like I said, so uh, It's all scrapped now, except for that guard post that people were in. That still leaves me, I guess, a little bit of a shadow of defense while I rehab. I do need to uh, put some sleeping bags in the main house down here for settlers to sleep in while I am building. And then after that, I'll probably go away for a little bit, fiddle around, build, and explore save and start from a prior save over and over again until I get something coming together that I like. And I'll bring you guys back on board when we get, get close. Alrighty. So, hey, thanks for your time. Be right back. Thank you. Okay, so, um, Back after all that demolition, there's still a couple guard posts left out there because um, people were manning them. I couldn't delete them while they were standing there, but provides a little bit of defense while I'm rehabbing the place. Hasn't been any trouble so far, but the rebuilding has begun up here on the roof of the Somerville Place house. Um, and one of the many quit without saving efforts I made at uh, rebuilding the place, I. I had gone up on the roof here to uh, 
put in a couple windmills. That didn't end up looking good. I got to rethink how I'm going to put in power. But while I was up here, I noticed the uh, attic floor is basically like 60% gaps and holes, and the roof is utterly gone. So uh, the living area wasn't very well protected from the elements. So um, you can use carpeting and floor covering to cover up those holes if you place them just so, but I don't think they're really intended to keep out rain so I started out using the wood structure flooring to kind of cover up the gaps everything fit in pretty nice I had to go over to the barn wood structure sometimes those clip into things easier than the wood structure flooring and it also gives you these kind of long pieces to work with um, there's a few holes I could not fill um, that I covered with a uh, vault workshop rubber floor mats there and in this corner and over in this corner and you'll see even with all that there are still a few gaps so at some point I'm going to go in to the excuse me dog meat I'm going to go in here and just arrange some buckets under those gaps where the where there are still holes just kind of make it a little bit more uh, realistic um, so anyway, that's the beginning of the rehab project. I still have to figure out where I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do next. But I did want to show you fixing the roof in here. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I'm about 97% done uh, rebuilding Somerville. Um, I want to show it to you, but I wanted to approach it from the north. Uh, and just to the north is this of Somerville is this uh, kind of desecrated statue um, and there's a couple benches by it um, some other crap lying around I, this stuff respawns because I've looted all this stuff before um, and then there's a tent with a sleeping bag and a suitcase there's a place uh, and that stuff, that response too. I've uh, looted that before. There's a little cooking station you can use. Um, but every once in a while you'll see um, raiders kind of like singly just kind of hanging out here. They'll be sitting on the, one of the benches facing toward the statue. And I usually end up just targeting them and shooting them. But, you know, it almost seems like some kind of raider shrine. I, I started calling it the tomb of the unknown. Um, but, uh, and I, I wonder if once there's enough of them hanging out there, if that's when they attack Somerville. But, um, even when they attack, they seem to appear right in the middle of the settlement. Um, I've installed a couple mods to help deal with that. But here's, uh, the approach to Somerville. On the right here is the, uh, the original house. And I did stick a windmill on the top. And then I have a uh, power generator up there. We'll go look at that next. And then I build a... It's part of the kind of the western theme I want to go with. I build a barn across the road from the house. And I've left the garden alone other than previously I'd added to it. Um, but the... Uh, excuse me. Here we go. The uh, power stations are up here. I had uh, patched over the attic flooring to keep rain out of the house. And um, so there's this uh, medium power station here and windmill. This is the first of the three missile turrets. Um, they cover, this one covers this area where raiders sometimes come from. There is another missile turret here trying to cover that area and then one here that kind of kind of can help there and a lot of my attacks come from south of the settlements it's these uh, charred feral girl ghouls that uh, started to appear after uh, the Far Harbor DLC um, but here okay this is just the house I the, these are the, the original beds for the Somerville family um, the dad and the kids sleep in this room I had taken out some stuff and added some beds here. Um, a lot of this stuff has changed now. Um, 
then here's the barn I built. I tore down a structure way the farm's not much, but it's something back corner of the lot up towards that hill. Um, which was just too far away to really help. So, uh, build a barn here. I've got my clinic and general store inside of it. Um, Crops coming in pretty good. Outside is the bar. Yes. And some seating. And yeah, I just love this view here. I mean, check this out, man. Like, this would be my table when I'm hanging out here. I got an ashtray with well, some vodka, and some beer, a pack of smokes. I'm good. Um, this is probably the best chair in the house. Because uh, once I've got the walls down and started looking around more, it's a really pretty stretch of the Commonwealth. Um, and then upstairs, there's some beds and stuff. Let's go look at that real quick. But, uh, and I'm kind of happy with the way it worked out. I think it might need to install a door here. I might leave it. No, there is already a door. Um, the bartender gets to work through this doorway here. I hope she can get to work. I haven't seen her actually working yet. That might block her out. But then there's um, some bedrooms up this way. Yeah, I've added to this some um, since I shot this video. Now what am I talking about? I must have saved over it. So yeah, so. Um, I need to fiddle around some more, add some beds. Yeah, I don't want to. I did end up adding the uh, mod that increases the uh, buildable size three times. Um, uh, and I don't think I'll need all of that, but I do need to think. I do need to make them a little bit. I don't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. The default, because like on this barn, I had the barn all built, um, except for this like wing here, and it looked too plain. It needed some adorn, uh, you know, adornment, you know. Um, and so I went ahead and got the mod. I mean, you could get away with a smaller barn. I mean, you could get away with staying within the, uh, the game parameters, you know what I mean? And maybe that's a good idea to do, but I wanted to make a, a bigger barn. And so I ended up uh, adding that mod. But uh, no, I think it came out pretty nice. Um, want to go back to uh, Nuka World and gather up some of the six shooters and cowboy outfits so I could kind of turn this into a western town. Um, I'm going to go do that now. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye.